is up everybody and welcome back to the episode of Ford Era. Today you got me, Solomon here, and as you can see, I am at the airport and uh, we're actually flying to North Carolina to go pick up a new project truck of ours and then we've got a fun road trip planned with it. So I'm gonna check in, go get my flight, and I will see you when we get to North Carolina. All right, everybody, so just made it over here to North Carolina and uh, my buddy Mike is actually coming to get me from the airport and perfect timing because he's rolling through right now. my truck but we'll see where we get to his house all right guys so uh, me and Mike were just driving and we passed by this place on the main highway to get to his house and I just lost my mind I saw a ton of patina trucks and I'm like hey Mike we got to stop so we pulled over. He's like, yeah, I know these guys. They're super cool. They sell uh, old trucks and signs. So figured I'd show you guys what we got out here. I'm gonna go bust a drone out, get you guys some drone footage. Alright guys, so we left over there and now we're over here at Mike's house and uh, gonna show you all his trucks. So, after you. Hey buddy, yeah, let's come on inside. I got a 61 unibody in the garage doing a coyote swap on it. It was uh, 
rusted up pretty bad, getting ready to go to the junkyard, and I saved it. Put a Crown Vic front end in it, 8.8 .8 rear end, doing a lot of metal work. Man, she's looking good. You've had this one for a while, right? Probably about six months. Yeah. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. You put a whole new bed floor in? It was eat out really bad, yeah, so Dang. I had to change all that. And How much fun was that? A uh, couple of days worth of work to do everything in the back. One of Joey's floors? No, it, was, it came with the truck when I bought it. So, okay. Um, if I buy a bed floor, I would definitely buy one from Joey, that's for sure. Hell yeah. Man, you got some cool stuff in here. Yeah, I got a little bit of parts everywhere. Dude, this is great. And this is the old shop. Now you have the new shop, right? Yeah. We'll see that later. Yeah. This is cool. My bump side. Here's the extra 12 out Cummins motor and EV 4500. Always good to have one of them sitting yeah. around. There's the bed and fenders on my 66. And I got a boatload of brand new F100 parts in the boxes everywhere. From carpet to no limit suspension and everything else you can think of. Fresh from Crown Vic clip over here. Man, I need to find some space. Yeah. If I had more space, I'd have more stuff. Yeah. Just out of space. Oh, uh, let's go over here. These are probably gonna go on my crew cab, not the hubcap, obviously, but. Got a couple trucks in here. 70, 74 crew cab. I bought off Facebook. She looks really clean. Lady I like the color. Pretty cheap. Got some more hubcap playing back here. Some more hubcaps in here. Dang, you're hoarding all of them, huh? Yeah, I got this truck right here off of Facebook. Got all the trim on it. This is a nice yeah. truck. Needs a little work, but she'll be on the road one day. She got the bones, right? Yeah, Automatic. she's got the bones. Got a 302 in it, automatic. Heck yeah. Good patina truck. Definitely. Got some extra doors over there, tailgates. Can never have enough, huh? Never, never enough parts. Don't you guys worry. We're gonna make a full what the truck with his bump side that we picked up from the, that he picked me up in. We'll do that after we finish this tour. There's a bull nose I got from Chris Smith. Smith Motorsports. Been doing a little work to it. A 69 crew cab I just acquired. A tree fell on the roof. We're gonna cut the roof out of it, put a a roof in it out of a you know newer van or F-250 from the junkyard. Um, the thing I liked about it, it's got the door panels in it, front and back. Yeah, I mean, you fix the roof, you just, you paint that back right there and that way you leave the rest of it as is. Absolutely. That's a nice truck. Yeah, we'll get back to that. Just gotta find a matching tailgate. Yeah. It'll pop up one of them days. Oh yeah, definitely. And back here in the back, I've got the 58, I've got the 64 F600, another 61 unit body, a 66 F250, uh, 71, 71 short bed, a 62 unit body, and that 78 long bed over there. Man, you got a little bit of everything. All you need is a fat fender, you round off your collection. Yeah, I've got one of them too. I have the bed for this. It's just uh, inside of a bed of another truck. Okay. My plans for this was to put a 12 valve Cummins in it and slam it on the ground. Tow rig? I'll probably sell it. And big back window shorty. Yeah, I sold this truck already. This truck was going to the junkyard. I saved it. It's got a nice grill in it. 
A oh, really nice white grill. This truck right here was going to the junkyard. I saved it. It's kind of beat up, but it's there. It'll make someone's dreams come true. Yeah, I'm getting a title for it. Gonna probably lower it down on some drop beams and put a small block in it and sell it. This truck was going to the junkyard too. I saved it. It's got a bunch of rust in it, but I'm gonna fix it and get it running and driving and sell it. I like saving their life instead of parting them out. This truck has a Crown Vic front end, Crown Vic engine, Crown Vic rear end, still the stock Ford frame. Okay. Uh, guy has some health issues. I bought it pretty cheap. Figure it out eventually, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. Well, we're gonna walk back over there and uh, eventually we'll show you the other shop. So we'll see you when we get there. All right, guys, so we made it down to the other part of the shop. So uh, tell us, what all we got in here? So over here, we got my personal truck that I'm probably gonna keep, which are all my personal trucks, but this is the 66, doing a Coyote swap, Crown Vic front end swap, twin turbos. That's why you see the twin intercoolers in the front. Uh, got the fuel system, been running in wiring, and this door was all white. We kind of blended some black paint to make it match the patina. I got a final piece of chrome for it. Good. Just put all new weather stripping, all new paint inside, dash painted. Um, I've got TMI seats for it. Running the six speed transmission, the TKO from uh, American Powertrain. Uh, new Riddler wheels. Uh, 325 tires on the back. Got the tank here and filter and pump from uh, uh, Andrew Peterson. And I got the uh, Viking coal over from Andrew Peterson. I got the Outcast 4 Link from Kyle Howard. Um, it's pretty well, much going to be you know, a, bunch a of nice stuff. rig. Support those guys a little bit. And then back here, I've got a Pretty good clean 67 long bed. I'm gonna probably fix it up and put a brand new paint job on it and keep it in the family. Then over here I've got a 60, I think it's a two unibody. Probably gonna fix it, get it running, sell it. Just been acquiring some parts. Then over here I got a 70. Short bed, bump side. Probably gonna hang on to that one. Um, it's got some sentimental value to me. So. It's a nice truck. I like the color on it. It's got a cool amount of patina, nothing too crazy. Yeah. Another crew cab. Yeah, I got another crew cab over there. I've got four crew cabs all together. Two dents, two bumps. That is awesome. And then a beautiful 64. Yeah, I just sold a high boy. And a 75 short bed. And I sold a unibody and something else. So I'm missing four or five trucks from about a month ago. Well, I'm sure you'll replace them pretty soon. Seems yeah. like you keep getting a bunch of cool deals on trucks. So yeah. that's always cool. It's kind of a great hobby. Hell yeah. Yeah. Get to make fun friends, enjoy. Absolutely. All right, guys. So we're going to keep having a little bit of uh, fun. He's going to show me around over here. But I'm not sure what we're going to pick the camera up next. So enjoy uh, whatever it is that I do in the next clip. Okay, well, so we forgot about this truck. It's my 52. It's a truck I want to sell. Uh, anybody interested, you can contact me. You, um, Instagram at 66F100 Coyote. Um, this has a Plymouth Valari front suspension. It's got um, the running boards, the bumpers, the tailgate, everything's in the bed. It's got a roller cam, 5.0 liter Mustang motor in it, uh, converted to carburetor. It's got an automatic overdrive transmission. I'm not sure what I'm gonna ask for yet. I may put the running boards on it, bolt them together, and put the headlights and stuff in it and sell it then, but um, it's going to be for sale. Probably going to bring it to the F100 Grand National Show in May and put it out there for uh, a cash deal. Heck yeah. 
So if you guys are looking for one, make sure to hit Mike up and uh, we're gonna go have some more fun. So see you in the next clip. All right guys, so we just got over here and uh, I'm actually gonna snake you guys. I'm gonna save this for the next video. So right now we're looking at the truck. Mike, what do you think? Uh, looks pretty good. Right? Yeah, I like the patina. Um, oh. oh, you told him too much. <laughs> uh oh, all right, so you guys got a little hint. All right, so you're gonna find out tomorrow. Stay tuned for that video. As always, please smash the like button. If you have any questions, comments, drop them down below. Let me know what you think the truck is in the comments below and I'll see you tomorrow.